Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And with us from the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. We've got the Boston Celtics taking on the Washington Wizards. And now the opening lineup for Boston. They've got Bird. He's out there with Russell. Pierce is out there with Havlicek. And it's Kuzi in at the one. And it's Wall with the ball for the Washington Wizards. Here's Arenas. And it hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for him. Here's Kuzi. Pass to Pierce. They double up Pierce. Here's Kuzi. Five on the clock. Launches a three. Beal pulls it in. We're about one minute into the first. Three-pointer. It's good from long range. And with a smooth, fluent release, Beal's jumper does wonders for his team's offensive position. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Wall. Unzel, the pass to Arenas. Arenas, a screen on Havlicek. Here's Wall. And Boston with the rebound. Bird looking it over. Now the pass to Kuzi. Nice ball movement by Boston. And it's Havlicek missing. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Here's Arenas. And it's Bird with the rebound. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. I spoke with the Celtics head coach a little bit ago. Coach said he thinks their defense has to control pace tonight. He said it's our first meeting against these guys, and we want to play tough, aggressive defense. But we have to be smart out there. We have to recognize what they're trying to do and adjust to that. Kevin? Thank you, David. Obviously, they feel that's the strategy that will earn them the W. And hey, Kevin, when you're disruptive defensively, especially early on, that can help change the complexion of the rest of the game. And that priority on defense establishes a team-first mentality. Guys have to work as a unit. It's a good mindset to get into early. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Beal from long range. Shot clock reset for Washington. The Wizards with another miss. That is not a bad decision to pull it from there. It was just a little bit off with the execution. Pierce for three. That shot off, and it's Washington the other way. There's the triple. Rebound, Boston. Russell's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Bird, the pass to Kuzi. Applejack outside. Pass to Kuzi. Pierce for three. Sinks the three-pointer. Yeah, and how about Pierce there? Immediately squares himself up from outside. Always prepared to rise and fire. So timeout called here. The first for Washington.
just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Now here's Wall. Not a lot of room. Looking to end the run. Arenas can't hit. Celtics leading by four. Havlicek with it. He's picked up by Wall. And it's Havlicek missing. Wall looking it over. Down low. Unzel the pass to Arenas. The rebound by the Celtics. Russell's got six rebounds now in the game. Back to Bird. Passes to Pierce. Bird outside. And again, Boston with the triple. And his passing is probably the most underrated part of his game. Pierce is a terrific playmaker on that wing. Now here's Wall. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And the foul called on Larry Bird. That is his first foul of the game. can't get that one to fall and, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter yeah he needs to mix things up on the offense he simply just can't keep missing shots at this rate because he's destroying his teammates Pierce inside the three-point line good and the assist goes to Russell Pierce has got five and when your mechanics are as strong as Pierce's putting up a quick shot is not that hard time called here the Wizards decide to talk it over the pass to Wall. To the inside. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. And hey guys, I'm starting to be concerned that the rim ain't going to survive some of these unsailed jams. There's just so much power to his game. Now, here is Havlicek. No points in the game yet for him. Three-pointer, Bird. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. When you find yourself up double digits in the first quarter, you know you're doing something right. They were ready to roll right through the tip. There was no warm-up here. There was only, let's do this. Now, here is Bird. Following the miss by John Wall. Russell trying to free himself up. Bird can't hit. And usually that's a bucket for him, but look, nobody's perfect in the mid-range. To the paint and stolen by Russell. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, and every generation or so, a player comes along who can be considered a true superstar. Folks, that's Larry Bird. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Celtics. Throw good, Bird. So he gets them both. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Wall dishes to Haynes. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First, it's going to be on Bill Russell. Second team foul. This is his first free throw of the game. For Washington. Who's 
shooting two. First free throw is good. Hayes hits them both. Austin with the ball. It's a 10 point game. Inside, here's Bird. And another miss by Boston. Outside, Wall. Hayes with the screen for Wall. And here's Arenas outside. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Kuzi passes to Pierce. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hits the big lead. They got off to such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. Drills it from outside. And you have to honor the three-point shooting of Arenas. A big-time scorer who's shown the consistency from beyond. Now here's Perth. He's got eight. Now Arenas past the wall. Hayes with the screen for Wall. Rebounded by the Celtics. And here's Bird. Washington foul. Elvin Hayes. Moses Malone. First He's checked in for Washington. Monroe comes in for John Wall. Substitution on the court. against Havlicek. Russell inside. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. They came out swinging, really setting the tone on offense, and the opposition has not been able to respond. Now, here is Havlicek. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Pierce against Beal. Launches it. And it's Havlicek missing. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing fall. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Taking two shots. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Butler, he's checked in for Gilbert Arenas. Both good from the line that time. And Boston has possession with a nine-point lead. Now here's Pierce. Seven points in the game. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Well, Pierce always been great at just getting into the heart of the defense. Feels real comfortable when he's in attack mode around the rim. The Celtics have gone two for two in the game at the line. Throw good, Paul Pierce. Wizards trail by 12. Monroe, the pass to Malone. 
Wizards passing it around. Fires top of the key. And Boston with the rebound. Here's White. It's rebounded by Hayes. Hayes has got his fifth rebound in this one. Butler kicks to Beal. And the three ball is good. Beal's got six points. No hesitation whatsoever. I just love how Beal makes that decision quickly to shoot off the catch. Now here's Pierce. It's hauled in by Malone. White against Buck. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Second yeah, and Butler, just a natural leader. He's someone whose teammates look up to a polished scorer who also plays tough defense. The Wizards have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. Shooting two. That free throw good from Butler. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Boston. And so he hits both. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Boston. Seven point differential. Takes it from 10. And he hits the jumper for two. <laughs> what hard work from Tatum inside. Doing what it takes to find his shot. Monroe kicks to Beal. And another miss by Washington. Austin leading by nine. White with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Tatum looking around. Six on the shot clock. Oh, Beal in position. And stolen by Russell. Outside, White. A minute 50 left here in the opening quarter. Here's Sharman. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. And Hayes kicks the butt. Hayes with the screen for Beal. No good that time. And it's Boston the other way. Here's Sharman. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second person. Boston shoot their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. At the line for the Celtics. Bill Sharman taking two shots. First one falls for And the Wizards making a change here. Jamison's checked in. And so he makes both from the line. Wizards trail by 13. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. The pass to Beal. There's the three. Connects from three-point range. Beal's got nine. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Here's White. Banked in off the glass. And the Celtics lead by 12. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. 
Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Here's Beal with the three, and again, Washington with the triple. And he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. And of course, it helps space the floor, which gives this offense more room to operate. Here's Sharman. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. He's got seven. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Hey, yo, right here. Outside, Beal. Jamison with a screen for Beal. Here's Monroe. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's Boston, enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And for the Celtics here, they've been putting on a show, guys. Showing a lot of confidence in their rotation. They went right to that bench when they needed points. Sometimes you just need a change of pace. The bench delivered that. Wizards trail by 12. Bradley Beal is out there with Anton Jamison. Then it's Gilbert Arenas, it's Wall, and it's Unseld in its center. That's the group start for the second quarter for the Wizards. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Bird high post over Unseld. Goes back up, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. There he is, beasting on the glass, converting the opportunity, trying to put this game away. Always giving max effort on the glass, taking everything they'll give him. Parrish, he's checked in for Boston. many things to like about Hondo. He is strictly about the team. Willing to take on any role. He just wants to win. Arenas kept alive by Washington. And that one is good from Bradley Beal. He knows his job on the glass and he does it well. Cleaning it up and sending it right back. Here's against Beal. Here's the pass to Havlicek. Sinks the triple. Havlicek's got six points. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Uh, the competitive firewall plays with is admirable. Fantastic at just figuring out ways to attract contact. For Washington, they have been excellent at the free throw line here today. A flawless six for six. Two shots. And the first one drops. And it's been an outstanding game for them at the free throw line. Not missing their chances when they get them. And so Wall nails both of them. And there's a lot of nuance to Wall's game. People talk about his speed and things like that. But his instinct and skill are equally as important if not more so. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. Shooting for Boston. Ball here. Two shots. Good from Pierce. Oh, 
And both free throws good for Paul Pierce. Wizards trail by 16. From deep, Wall knocks down the three ball. Wall's got five points in the quarter. Wall's been a solid pull-up shooter since day one. He stays in rhythm and, and keeps his form. Parrish dishes to Havlicek. Six to shoot. Knocked away. Parrish, the pass to Havlicek. A wide-open look for Bird. Busted. No good that time either. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. High post try. Here's Unsell. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Yeah, he, he's just relentless on the glass. Unsell turning the miss into points because of his activity down low. That's what you love to see from your big guy. Count it. Pierce has got 14 points for the game. This guy is just ridiculous. He is just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. They set the pick. That one's in there. The Boston lead has kept down now to just 11 on the basket from Wall. And passing lanes just get wider for Wall when he's knocking down jumpers. That's an important shot for him. Here's Cousy. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. wall he's tightly guarded and the shot is good and that's too close when wall gets a shot that deep inside it is almost automatic here in the second quarter about three minutes played here's Havlicek hits the three-point bomb Havlicek's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for Boston he can really stroke it from deep you have to keep better tabs on him wall sets a screen for Beal Fires from deep. That one misses. Now Boston takes it the other way. At one point, they led by 16. Bird passes to Kuzi. Pierce against Beal. It's deflected, and he recovers it. Kuzi off target with his three. Wizards trail by 12. And it's Wall in the corner. Another one falls for Washington. Such a shrewd playmaker. Love watching Wall break down the defense in the pick and roll. And now, the first timeout call here for Boston. Washington making some changes. Hayes, he's checked in for Jamison. And King subbed in for Bradley Beal.
Washington on D, trailing by 10. And still early in the period, and they're only one foul away from being over the limit. Havlicek against Arenas, and the dunk by Havlicek. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Oh, great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. Austin leading by 10. Here's Kuzma. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. It's rebounded by Enzo. Unzelt got his sixth rebound on the night. He dishes it to Wall. And that one hits back iron. Here's the pass to Kuzi. Bird high post. Over Arenas. A nice shot by Bird. Bird's got ten points. And that's his strongest trait, the, the unselfishness from Kuzi. Fantastic at realizing when one of his guys has an opportunity for a clean look. Now here's Hayes, stolen by Pierce. Out to the right wing. Here's Kuzi, covered by Wall. Kuzi passes to Bird. And he's good on the three ball. 13 points in the game. Could there be any doubt? I mean, Bird's such a dead-eye shooter. Sometimes this guy practices threes with his eyes closed. And again, Washington, no good. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Here's Kuzi. Three-pointer. Rebound, Washington. Hayes has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Stolen by Bird. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Some changes for Boston. Garnett comes in for Parrish. And McHale is subbed in for Pierce. Bird hits them both. Washington with the ball. 17-point game. Washington calls timeout. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful about that. He can't be happy with that soft interior D.
Ball passes to Shanine. Will it go? Pass to Unsell. And the layup fall. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Mikhail kicks to Havlicek. Nailed from three-point land. Havlicek's got 14 points. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. And the vision and understanding Wall has in pick and roll situations is second to none. So many of his teammates have become better shooters because of Wall's perfect passes out of that set. Wizards trail by 16. Unzel, the pass to Wall. Stolen by Bird. Here's Kuzi, covered by Hayes. Kicks it to Bird. The feed to Garnett. Bucket is good. Garnett's got his first pass. And when Garnett gets it that deep, the D is at his mercy. How about the extension when he's able to get up on that low block? Wall, good. Now Havlicek. He's got 14. Garnett, the screen. Floats one up, and that one, good. He's got 16. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. And the powerful one-handed slam. Flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Here's Kuzi. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Bird, the pass to McHale. Here's Kuzi, covered by Wall. Just five on the clock. Beyond the arc. Kuzi can't hit. And so it's Wall. He brings it up for Washington. They trail by 16. To the wing right side. Here's Shinny. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Here's Kuzi. Covered by Wall. Tries the spin move. Kuzi passes to McHale. Passes it to Kuzi. Here's Bird. Washington with the rebound. And here's Wall. He's got 15. Good for basket number seven tonight on a not-so-unlucky 13 shots. Sometimes the wall seems just undeniable. Even the contact doesn't slow him down. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. is Malone. He's checked in for the Wizards.
outside Rondo. Up top Tatum. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. You love how Tatum commits to his shots. A foul won't stop him from getting an animal. For Boston, they haven't made a mistake at the line yet. 10 of 10. And that one falls for Tatum. What strikes me about Jason Tatum is really his versatility. He's got any move for any situation that you throw at him. His moves have moves. His counters have counters. That is a man that can finish plays or make them. And he makes both free throws. Here's Wall. 17 points in the game. Malone a screen on run. Here's Wall. And it's sent back by Russell. And guys, this is where instincts come into play. So much you have to read defensively. Russell not fooled at all. Now here is Havlicek. 16 points for him. Now here's Wall. And he's going up for the alley -oop. And Hayes throws it down. And he's taking pride in being their leader. These passes show Wall wants to make his teammates better. And there's Havlicek. That's good on the assist by Rondo. Havlicek's got 18 points. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Here's Wall, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It is great to see Wall back from those awful injuries, looking a lot stronger now. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Beals jumped in for King. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Austin leading by 15. Rondo with it. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. D from Malone. And he's usually able to score on that type of defense rather easily. Surprising to see him come away empty. Second shot opportunity, and Hayes throws it down. And that's a double-double for him now. 10 points and 12 rebounds. Hard work on the offensive glass, paying off with the second chance points there for Hayes. If he's got a shot at the rebound, he's not going to let anybody else take it away. Yep, that one goes. Tatum's got four points this quarter. These are exactly the kind of shots they want to generate each and every time down the floor. Here's Beal. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It goes on Jason Tatum. And the ability of Beal to just wear out the defense. At times, you almost have to foul him to stop him. For Washington, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. For two. First free throw is good. And quite simply, Beal is an all-NBA player in our league, a multi-dimensional guard who does many things well, especially scoring the ball. And both free throws good for Beal. And here's Rondo. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Outside, McHale. On the wing, Havlicek. Screened by Russell. Shot clock at six. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. 
and, and this is the problem. The, the length, the timing. Russell, one of the very best at corralling misses and turning them into points. Here's the screen. Hayes finds Malone. Outside, Beal. Good, and it's Malone picking up the assist. And that's now 18 points for Bradley Beal. Here's Tatum. He's got six. Russell, a screen on Beal. The three from Tatum. Buries the long-range jumper. Tatum's got nine points. Every time Tatum finds his shot, he'll take it. He loves to fill it up from mid-range. And so it's Boston in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. Their work from beyond the arc has been to highlight a lot of threes, finding the bottom of the bucket. Back to the action in just a minute. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Without question, John Havlicek displaying his skills. Yeah, he's just been raining down on them from deep here. You talk about dialed in. If I'm his teammate, I keep feeding the hot hand, especially since he's been on fire from deep also. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. On the floor for Boston. They've got Havlicek. Bird is out there with Russell. Then it's Pierce, and it's Kuzi in the point guard. On deep, Arenas. Kuzi with the rebound. Celtics leading by 16. He kicks to Bird. Misses the three. Here's Unsell. Outside wall. Dishes to Arenas. They get it back. Hayes. Shoots the three. And another miss by Washington. Pass to Kuzi. Here's Russell. Nice ball movement by Boston. Here's Havlicek. Rebound, Washington. Beal's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Unsell. It doesn't go for him. Nice D from Russell. Here's Kuzi, covered by Wall. Oh, Russell in position. There's the steal. On deep, Arenas gets the three-pointer to fall. Arenas has got six. And finally, someone scores. It's a slugfest. Maybe not the prettiest game we've seen, but sometimes the best wins are the ugly ones. Now, here is Bird. He's got 15. Elvin Hayes. Third person of the First team foul. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. falls so he hits both of them 
Some big guys struggle at the line, not him. He's put in the work to defy that assumption. Outside Arenas. Wall sets a screen for Arenas. Outside Beal. It's up a three. That's good. It's Arenas with the assist. Beal's got 21 in the game. And you can tell uh, Arenas just has that ability as a distributor. He can pick out the ready shooter and get them the rock. Kuzi passes to Bird. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Beal dishes the wall. Back to Beal. To the middle. Outside, Walt. Such a wide open look. He's got 20. And how about the anticipation and imagination there from Unsa? Sees the play developing and delivers the pass on time and on target. Timeout called the Celtics. Here's Kuzi. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. The pass to Havlicek. To the inside. Here's Russell. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And remember, Havlicek was a highly recruited quarterback, so you see his passing ability on that one. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. On the free throw, no good. Still one by Bird. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. He's gone. Six of six from the free throw line. At the line for the Celtics. Larry Bird taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Throw good, Bird. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Outside, Wall. Outside, Beal takes the three. No good there. So the Celtics will take it the other way. They led by as many as 18 points. Here's Kuzi, covered by Hayes for three. Rebound, Washington. Wall. 20 points for him. Puts one up from 19. And another miss by Washington. Austin leading by 14. Pass to Kuzi. Back to Pierce. Let's the three fly. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. And you gotta love Kuzi's ability to really create opportunities for his teammates. Just a pure point guard with superior passing skill. Now here's Higgins. He's got 10. 
And the foul called on Larry Bird. That's his third foul of the game. So both teams changing it up here. First team foul. Substitution on the court. Outside wall. No good, unable to end this run. Here's Boston now. They lead by 17. Passes it to Kuzi. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. That's his first foul. Personal foul. Fourth team foul. Kuzi passes to Pierce. There's a good screen. Offline with his three. And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for the Washington Wizards. Pass to one zone. Now the dish to Beal. Nice D from Bird. Boston leading by 17. Outside Pierce. It's tipped. And here's Arenas. He has six. The pass to Unsell. He dishes at the wall. And the layup's good off the glass. Wall's got four points in the quarter. And big scoring night for Wall. And, and for him, it's about the rhythm. When he's locked in, it that gives him the confidence to keep firing. Here's Sharman. Seven points in the game. And even against defense as tight as that, you almost expect him to still bury those. And it's sent back by Russell. Out of bounds. Wizards ball as Washington keeps possession. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. And Washington making a change here. Butler's checked in. Washington calls timeout. Outside, Beal pulls from the top of the key. No good off the back of the rim. Austin leading by 15. Left side, Pierce. 
Here's Russell. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Uh, how about the perseverance there? The extra effort on that offensive glass. Well, let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for Boston. Throw good, Russell. Here's Arenas. He has six. Pass to Unsell. Here's Chenier. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. And in terms of size, not your typical center. But, man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Now, here's Bird. He's got 19. Here's Kuzi. Misses off the right iron. Wizards trail by 16. Chenier, the pass to Unsell. Here's Ruland. He's guarded by Russell. Nice D from Russell. Here's Boston now. Here's Kuzi. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Just five to shoot. Boston needs to get off a shot. Bird. Boston. No good that time either. Butler against Bird. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. Personal foul. Second team foul. This is his second trip to the free throw line. line for Washington. Jared Butler. Two shots. First free throw is good. Moses Malone. He's checked in for Washington. Monroe comes in for Gilbert Arenas. Rajon Rondo's checked in for Boston. And so Butler nails both of them. And it's Rondo with the ball for Boston. It's a 14-point game. Passes it to Cowan. Pass to Bird. Just four to shoot. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Bird's got six here in this quarter. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. There's a screen. Here's Monroe. Drops it in from 14 feet away. Kick works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now a timeout called by Boston.
Austin leading by 14. Now here's Rondo. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here's Collins. Here's Bird. And it's Malone with the rebound. There's the pass to Butler. Nice ball movement by Washington. Rondo against Monroe. Pass to Chenier. Five to shoot. Elbow shot is on the way. And it's Russell with the rebound. Chenier's gone one of three from the field here. At the elbow, it's Bird. Here's Sharman. Buries it down low. Sharman's got nine. An obsessive perfection as Bird's become one of the great passers this league has ever seen. Malone has screen on run. The kick outside to Butler. It's hauled in by Bird. Bird's got six rebounds in the game. Count that one. Bird's got eight here in the quarter. And you're going to take as many of those high percentage shots as you can get. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Chenier to the left side wing. Ruling the pass to Chenier. They set the screen. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. Chenier's got his second bucket. And pro move there. Finds a way to gain some separation against the much taller defender. Okay, look. That move right there is a product of repetition. He's worked on that, and it pays off for that little larger defender. And he wasn't about to do anything that would get him in trouble there. Nope. Uh, up and in with a one-hand uh, finish. Uh, the most basic possible. Now, here is Monroe. And it's Sharman with the rebound. Boston leading by 18. Pass to Rondo. Bird outside. From deep. Rebound, Washington. Here's Chenier. Takes it inside. And it's sent back by Russell. Rondo against Monroe. Three-pointer, Bird. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Bird's got 11 points here in just the second half. Monroe looking around. Pass to Chenier. To the paint. Here's Ruland. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Ruland's got his first points in this one. If they're going to want to close the gap, they're going to need to start running more sets through him. Let your stars lead the way. Come on. Man, you got to respect the awareness level of Rondo. When his teammates have a clean look at the basket, the ball gets there without hesitation. Now here's Monroe. And there's the pass to Ruin. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him that possession. I mean, apparently, neither did the defender. Here's Sharman. He's got 13. Down low. Here's Bird. Off target with the jump hook. And so it's Larry Bird making things happen for the Boston Celtics. He's up to 26 points in the game now. Just keeps pouring in the buckets. We come back right after this. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's an unguardable pass, flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. And 
there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. All out there with Arenas. Then there's Bradley Beal. Then there's Hayes. And it's Unsell in at the five spot. That's the group on the floor right now for Washington. All with it. There's the pick. Inside. Hayes the pass to Wall. It's rebounded by Kevin Garnett. Celtics leading by 19. Now Pierce. He feeds it to Garnett. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. They're taking it right into the teeth of the defense, and, and it's a defense that's starting to look frustrated. That's the kind of aggression you want to see when you've got a team on the ropes. One shot. He throw good Garnett and that passion that Garnett plays with is really infectious he's always talking and trying to get himself and his guys going wall no luck wall against Havlicek out to the wing and here's Garnett kicks to Pierce McHale on the wing. That's chipped. You know, some might say Hayes plays the game angry. And there's there was definitely something angry about his defense there. What an emphatic rejection. Maybe they've been going to him a little too much. Now, he's having a great game, but his team is losing, and that is all that matters. Here's Pierce after the made shot from Bradley Beal. Garnett, the screen. Here's Kuzi, covered by Wall. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. That'll be his second foul second of the game. Pass to Havlicek over Arenas. Kept alive. Garnett. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. And, guys, you can't let an exceptional rebounder like Garnett get that kind of position. That's how he finds those second-chance points. Here's Wall. And, oh, boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It goes on Kevin McHale. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. John Wall at the line for two. And the first one drops. He doesn't get the second one. Celtics leading by 21. Havlicek with it. Now Beal defending. Shot. High post. And too long on the shot. Now here's Arenas. He kicks it to Wall. Nice ball movement by Washington. Back to Hayes. And Hayes throws it down. Love to see him inside passing like this, as well as guys being on the same page. Kuzi passes to Pierce. Pierce is doubled. To the paint, Beal with the steal. And this is what Beal does. He, he puts pressure on the defenders and makes them compromise when he does. At the line for Washington. Bradley Beal. Taking two shots.
First one falls for him. And both free throws good for Beal. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Outside Pierce. Back to Havlicek. Over Arenas. Boston. No good that time either. Wizards trail by 17. Down low. And Hayes throws it down. He just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. Here's against Beal. Now here's Pierce. He's guarded closely. Here's Havlicek. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Havlicek's got 21. He's just stretching him out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. And the lack of defensive pressure on shots like that is a big reason they're down by double digits. Celtics leading by 18. Passes it to Pierce. Washington with the rebound. Beal's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Dishes it to Hayes. Now here's Wall. D right on him. Back to Hayes. And he makes that one. Hayes has got six here in this quarter. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim. They get the finish. Outside Pierce. Garnett with the screen for Pierce. Feeds it to Garnett. Shoots the ball as well as any big. Very versatile out on the floor. Garnett draws a lot of contact. Antoine Jameson's checked in for Washington. For Boston. Kevin Garnett. Two shots. Shooting two. Free throw good from Kevin Garnett. And both free throws good from Garnett. Wizards trail by 18. With the step back. Outside for Jamison. And here's Arenas outside. Washington gets it back. Jamison, no luck. And the Celtics with possession here. Applejack outside. To the inside. Here's Garnett. That misses off the backboard. And it's Washington's ball. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Arenas. And it's Paul Pierce with the rebound. Pierce has got five rebounds tonight. To the left wing. Kicks it out to McHale. Pierce, the pass to McHale. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. Wall dishes to Arenas. They set the pick. Looking to get back on track here. Hayes, the pass to Arenas. From 18 feet away. And there's Peel. That's good on the assist by Arenas. Peel's got nine points now in just the second half. To the middle, here's Pierce, and Paul Pierce with the slam. That is a perfect placement of that dime. Just guided it right to him. Outside, Wall, the dish to Arenas. 
The three. The shot that time, not on target. And the Celtics going the other way now. Havlicek against Arenas. And it's Havlicek missing. Wizards trail by 20. Outside Arenas. To the inside, Kevin Garnett with the steal. Havlicek with it. He's picked up by Wall. Jamison on the double team. Pierce for three. Washington with the rebound. Arenas has got six rebounds now in the game. Down low, and Hayes throws it down. Chemistry at its best. An unreal alley -oop. Yeah, though, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk. All of it perfect. Here's Kuzi. Pierce has doubled. Looking for Wall. He gets it there. And here we go. Washington fast break. Wall with the ball. And the slam dunk by Jamison. And with authority, Jamison leaps up for the rim before the defense has a chance to stop him. Austin making some changes. Russell, he's checked in for Garnett. And Larry Bird sub for Kevin McHale. And One shot. That free throw good from Jamison. And Jamison is such a talented scorer. A, a forward who can get it done both outside and in. He's special. Outside, Russell. Havlicek against Arenas. Bird left side. Over Hayes. The kick out to Pierce. Off target from outside. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. Past the wall. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for Washington. Two shots. No good on the free throw. And he looks totally out of sorts here at the stripe. Those defenders aren't afraid at all to body him up and force him to earn his points at the line. Wizards making a switch here. Malone's checked in. He hits the second from the line. Austin leading by 14. Havlicek outside. And the pass to Pierce. Back to Havlicek. Lock at six. It's rebounded by Hayes. Hayes has got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Here's Beal. Rebound, Boston. Here's the pass to Bird. Kuzi with the bucket. And the Celtics lead by 16. I tell you, Kuzi is, is pretty crafty down there on the block. Has that sense of how to score in traffic. Tries it from 19. Arenas with the bucket. Here's Kuzi. Pass to Russell. Arenas against Havlicek. Third left side. Takes a shot at the elbow. It's hauled in by Malone. Malone's got four rebounds in this game. Shoots from the elbow. Doesn't get it to drop for him. So the Celtics will take it the other way. And it's Havlicek missing. There has been nothing for him this quarter. Ever since halftime, he's lost all of his touch. Arenas with it. To the paint. Here's Hayes. 
That's good, and Serenus with the assist. Arenas has got his fifth assist in this one. This man has entered the zone. Great shooting performance from him all game long. Here's Kuzma. Bird with the bucket. That's 28 points for Larry Bird. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Here's Arenas. Second chance effort. The shot, no good. Great D that time from Bird. Here's Kuzma. This is it to Havlicek. Now, here is Bird. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Fifth personal foul. Fourth team foul. Shooting for Boston. Larry Bird. At the line for two. Shooting two. He throw good, Bird. Wizards making a switch here. Bird hits them both. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. Outside wall. Arenas with it. Guarded now by Larry Bird. A shot's good from Hayes. The floater is so tough to defend against. Nothing defenders can really do but shake their heads. We've got 128 left here in the fourth quarter. Havlicek, the pass to Kuzi. Here's Pierce. On the wing, Bird. Russell trying to free himself up. No good from Bird. And so it's Wall. He brings it up for the Washington Wizards. They trail by 14. Kicks it to Hayes. It's Beal on the wing. Hayes with the screen for Beal. Over Pierce. Pass to Ruland. And here's Arenas outside. The pass to Beal. Over Pierce. Off the left rim and out. 36 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Have a check outside. Here's Bird. And he drops it in from the low post. Bird's got 32 points. Here's Washington now. It's a 16-point game. Now here's Wall. He's covered closely. The 10-footer. The shot's good from Hayes. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Up top, Bird. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. Really an outstanding effort all the way around. And that'll do it, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.